Hey everyone, this is Gary. I'm back with a, another herbal formula, this time for relaxation and reducing or eliminating muscle spasms. So this is an important one for people that are suffering with those issues. So the first thing we're going to be using is bilberry. And bilberry is an amazing herb. We'll go over later while the water is heating up. Uh, I have a cup and a half and a in a uh, pot right here now heating. Another one, Devil's Claw, an amazing herb. Most of what I'm using today are root herbs, so they're going to be very powerful. St. John's Wort and Valerian Root. So while that water is heating, I'll go over what some of these are good for. I think you'll be pretty amazed. Now this is Dr. Morse book, the Detox Miracle book, and we're on page 236, and this is where he starts uh, his herbal, to me, education for us as students. Now, <clears throat> I keep going back to the book because sometimes memory doesn't serve you well. It is always, always good to go back and just double check everything to make sure. So I'm using this because uh, I want to make sure that the information going on these videos is correct and not from my memory and it might be a little off. So, first one is the bilberry. And this is good for strengthening the vascular system, arteries, capillaries, and veins. Uh, helps reduce inflammation. And it is a relaxant. It's, uh, it helps with edema. Uh, it's good for the skin. If you have cataracts, it will help reduce cataracts in your eyes. So this is a great formula. And it's one of the best anti-inflammatories for all tissue in the body. It's a very important herb. It is a little expensive. It's $7 an ounce. <clears throat> but what it does is worth way more than $7 an ounce. And you're not using that much uh, in your mixes. So it's, uh, it's great for your eyes and it will help in uh, any night blindness or vision weakness that you have. So very important herb. The next one we're going to be doing or using is Devil's Claw. And that's a great anti-inflammatory specific for arthritis and uh, rheumatism. It's a great anti-inflammatory for joints, muscular, uh, neuro and other issues that you may be experiencing. valuable in uh, like diabetes and liver conditions so another great great herb and we really need to start learning more about herbs so that they I mean they're they're God's gift to us they're growing in most places free right outside your door so if you're looking for specific herbs to help your body heal this is a key thing that happens but people have forgotten and they don't know but if you go outside and you work in your garden with your bare hands or you're out in your bare feet in your yard the herbs you need to heal your body will grow in your yard they'll just show up they were never there and then all of a sudden they're there and they'll grow in abundance so <clears throat> of course you can't have a sprayed yard they'll still grow but if they're spraying the yard then you know you have to stay away from the chemicals but any natural fields or your garden, if you're not using sprays, those herbs will grow around the edge of your garden or they'll just show up in different places. Now, the reason it's doing that is the energy from your heart is connected to the energy of the universe. And that is nature's energy. It's, it's quantum energy. So, it's nature is always seeking balance 
and it's reading this as an imbalance and wanting to be balanced nature will give you the herbs that you need to heal your body so that you will be balanced as balanced as nature so that is pretty powerful and amazing and I love that nature does that so St. John's wort is next and that's good for the nervous system uh, it's a regenerative uh, herb for the nervous system keeps things strong uh, balancing effect on the tissue it helps uh, reduce anxiety, irritability, depression. Uh, it's great if you have things like insomnia. It will start to work with the pineal gland and uh, in doing so will help you be able to sleep. So uh, it's great for headaches, cramping of all tissues including menstrual. It's uh, anti-parasitic and uh, antibacterial, antifungal, so it uh, it's, helps a lot with things like HIV, and I think we already covered it's uh, anti-inflammatory as well. So these are going to be very important to, to use. And the last one, valerian root, this one has a definite odor to it. And I have used it with people with MS, so it's a very, very important herb. Uh, another one that you could use, and I don't have it out here right now. I don't think, I think I put it away. Yeah, Skullcat. Skullcat is excellent for muscle spasms. So you could add that in, or you could do it in a different mix later. I'm trying to use different herbs in each video. So you can see that there's an array of herbs that you can use during your healing process to help your body balance itself. So it's good for uh, high blood pressure, stress, tension. Uh, it strengthens the nerve connections with the brain. It's good for uh, gas, indigestion, nervous stomach. So this is an this is an important herb. All these herbs are important. So let's get started. The water is hot. And I'm going to show you how I let my energy of my body on a cellular level pick how much herb is going in each uh, cup of tea that I make. So <clears throat> I'm going to move the camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Now, most of these are root herbs, and you have to boil these for like 20 minutes. So, I had already checked, I don't have a lot of uh, devil's claw here, but I had checked by asking earlier, is this enough? Will this do what I need? Yes, it will. As my body leans forward, it wants it. So. We'll see how much is enough here. Is this what I need? Yes. Is this enough? Yes. Is it too much? Yes. Is this too much? No. Do I need more? Yes. So this is kind of a game you play with your, with your body. Is this just right? Yes. Okay, so you can see there's a little bit more in there than there was before. But you don't need a lot. That's the whole thing is we tend to overuse our herbs and we don't need to. Now, I'm actually going to put all of these in while this is boiling for the 20 minutes. The bilberry, you could probably get away with putting it in 10 minutes into it. I'm going to put it in for the whole thing because these are dehydrated so they're, they're pretty dense. Is this enough? No. Is this enough? Is this enough? Is it just right? Yes. Okay. So now we have the bilberry in there. <clears throat> now the valerian root, like I said, it has a definite odor to it. You can't walk into a room without 
knowing that there's a valerian open somewhere. So, as you can see, this is a, a pretty dense herb, but it's an amazing herb for your body. Is this enough? Yes. Is it too much? Yes. And it's really hard to get it out of the bag. Is this enough? Yes. Is it too much? No. So that's how much valerian root I'm going to use. And like I said, this has a very distinct odor to it. So there are other herbs you can use. It's just that I have this one. Uh, Skullcat is one. Wild lettuce is another one that's great for that. What's interesting about wild lettuce, while I get this last one in here, is wild leaded, lettuce is a non-addictive opioid. Non-addictive opioid. Is this enough? Yes. Is it too much? Yes. Is this enough? Yes. Too much? No. Is this just right? Yes. Okay. So you can see, that's all I'm using. Because these are these roots, they're very, very powerful. Now we're going to let this uh, boil for 20 minutes. I'm going to shut the camera off, and I'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> it's been 20 minutes. We're back, and I'm going to uh, pour this in the cup. I use this handy-dandy little strainer right here. So I probably could have used two cups of water in there instead of uh, one and a half, one and three quarters. And I got to tell you, this is not going to be the best tasting tea. Uh, Skullcap would do a much better job. But I'm trying to keep it so that you see a variety of herbs being used for a variety of different things. So uh, you can put a little bit of... Uh, real maple syrup in this. You can put a little bit of sugar in it. Uh, it's probably the best idea to taste it first. And because of the valerian root, which is a, an extremely powerful herb for the body, uh, it's, it's gonna probably taste like it smells. So let's give it a shot here. Yeah, yeah, it's got a definite flavor to it. Uh, not my favorite. Most of my mixes, I like to have them, even if they're not flavorful, but easy on the palate. And I think a little maple syrup in this, real maple syrup, would be very good. Actually, once your palate starts to clean a little bit, it's not as bad, but that first taste was a little whoa. So... <laughs> That's something to think about as you're, as you're doing these herbs. Every blend that I have made, other than the one with valerian root in it, has been very easy on the palate. So, as we go through life, we find these things, and I'll tell you right now, it's a lot better than medicine from a doctor that you have to drink or swallow. not bad not bad at all so I just thought I'd come back for a minute and say that I put some real maple syrup in this just a little tiny bit smoothed it right out so it's, it's actually really good now and <clears throat> another thing I wanted to mention is all health is is the body being able to regenerate itself faster than it's breaking down. And all disease is, is the body breaking down faster than it can regenerate itself. That's it. And once we learn how to help it regenerate itself, because it's a processing plant, and it generates energy. So when we get sick, the energy level goes down. And through herbs, live liquids, live foods, 
added to your current diet, your body has no choice. It has to heal itself. It cannot lie to you. If you do something it doesn't like, it's going to let you know. And it's talking to you 24-7 all the time. We have forgotten how to listen to it. Just like we have forgotten if you go out in your yard and stand there, that the energy from your body is connected to the energy of the earth, and the earth only wants balance. So it will send the herbs to you that you need to rebalance your body. And that's how powerful nature is, also how powerful your body is. So we have to get our mind out of the way and take that journey of that 18 inches to the heart and allow that to expand into the quantum field. And when you do that, your thinking and your feeling will combine, will balance out, and you'll live a life like you never dreamed of. Because you're an infinite being in an infinite universe with infinite potential and a world of abundance. And it's time we let go of the self-doubt and scarcity that we've been taught to accept our whole lives. Because it's a lie. It does not exist. There's no animals out in nature that don't have everything they need to live. And the only time they get in trouble is when man gets in the way. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you.